Hello everybody, my name is Margo. Welcome back to my cluttered living room and today we're going to talk about something a little bit more serious than my intro is here to suggest. Um, so today, or this week's book topic is bibliotherapy. So I chose Something Very Sad Happened uh, by Bonnie Zucker and illustrated by Kim Fleming. And uh, it's called the Toddler's Guide to Understanding Death. Um, just personally, a little bit about me. I'm very much about talking about death more in just sort of society at large. I think American, specifically American society, is very much about hushing it up. Don't talk to kids about it. Tell kids not to talk about it or think about it. And so I think books like this are super and super important. Um, I don't know. I wish there were more of them. There aren't as many as I would like. But I like this one because it's very simple. It's really good for a younger audience. A lot of the books for younger audiences are about pet death, which is also great. Well, pet death isn't great. That, ooh, rephrase that. It is great that there are a lot of books about dealing with pet death because that's something that happens in your life. But not so many about people that aren't for older audiences. Um, there's one very excellent one called Cry, I think it's Cry Heart But Never Break about death visiting a family um, of younger children and just talking to them and them having this like conversation with death, but that is a bit too high concept for the itty bitty ones. So this one is fantastic for toddlers, I would say maybe even a little bit older than toddlers, um, two to six, two to seven thereabouts. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and talk about something very sad happened. Another note, I love that this book is a very sort of more mellow illustration style. It's not wild and colorful and fun. It's these sort of somber tones um, done in watercolor. I don't know if my the glare of my window is going to let us do that in like a YouTube style light setup here. Um, but yeah, it's got some somber watercolors. It's very mellow. The backgrounds are kind of sparse. And because the backgrounds are sparse, you focus a lot more on this little boy and his mom and how they're feeling. So you can see their faces more, you can see their body language better. And I think seeing those things and seeing maybe a representation of how the kid feels in an illustration that's not super busy or bogged down is a really good way to tell a story. So without further ado, this is Something Very Sad Happened. A Toddler's Guide to Understanding Death. Um, another quick thing is I really like that this book starts out, you can't read it obviously, with a letter from the author that says, my condolences that you are picking up this book, you're reading this book, I'm sorry that you've lost a loved one, and that it's hard for small kids to process this loss. Um, the author says it's more for two or three year old children. I think it is going to be good for, again, like up to kindergarten age. But yeah, it's about um, how the author's son had a hard time um, dealing with the death of his own grandma and like the kind of reactions kids have and how this is a sort of answering to those questions. Um, read click. I'm going to read a quick blurb from the letter that I thought was really important. It said, after we explained grandma's body stopped working, he commented, she just needs new batteries. So this covers like all the little kinds of questions that kids have like that. So again, sorry, I got distracted. So, something very sad happened. Grandma died. When someone dies, their bodies stopped working. Grandma's body stopped working. It's like when your toy stops, 
because it needs new batteries. Except that Grandma's body can't work again. So we have the little boy looking at his toy and thinking about the differences between being able to make something work again and then trying to grasp the concept of a body not working again. It's okay to feel sad or scared. It's okay to cry. Mommy might cry too. It's okay to feel mad. Mommy might feel mad too. So I like that this one, the boy is looking over at his mom because she's feeling a lot of emotion and he's looking at her and trying to figure out why she's feeling emotion. If mommy cries, it's because she feels sad. Because she misses grandma. When someone dies, you can't see them anymore. We cannot see grandma anymore, and that's why we will miss her. When someone dies, you cannot talk to them anymore. We cannot talk to grandma anymore. That's why we feel sad. But we can look at pictures of her and we can tell stories about her. You can still love her and she will always love you. And I love in this one that a lot more color has sort of been brought into the background with the night sky. And then in the last one, it's this sort of beautiful full color background instead of the super desaturated blue. And the last words are, love cannot die. And then it has a sort of note to parents and caregivers on how to use this book, general tips to help a grieving child, talking to your child about death, um, answering their questions. And it goes on for quite a few pages. So I think that like the author is a licensed psychologist so she's writing from a place of like she knows what she's doing she knows how to deal with this so i thought this book was an excellent representation of how kids talk about death um again i wish there were a lot more of these i wish i had the expertise to put something like this out into the world because i think it's it's a topic that I'm passionate about. I'm really passionate about talking more about death in American society. So I wholly recommend this book. Side note, another one that I absolutely adore, but was a little bit too uh, high concept for the small ones, is called Death is Stupid. Um, it's written and illustrated by Anastasia or Anastasia Higginbottom. Um, this one is from The Feminist Press, which is a publisher that I really like. They do these really cool collage style books on hard topics or on sort of diversity and it's, um, let me see if I can show off some cool pictures. Yeah, this one will be for kids that are significantly older. Um, it's about how it's okay to feel angry if people say things to you about death that you think are stupid. I don't know. I just like that it's called Death is Stupid. I like that it's very blunt. It's very sort of all-encompassing, like you might encounter somebody saying this, and that's going to make you angry. So this addresses a lot of the anger that kids may face around the death of a loved one. So yeah, I that fun... <laughs> light note aside, um, I will see everybody who ends up watching this video next time. Goodbye!